there! Can you believe it's already week 5 into the new Fortnite season and the map changes and tiny story updates keep on coming? This week the bromance got a new member and we'll talk about that soon. So sit your butt down for 8 minutes and slap in code Adamaru to keep this series going. Chapter 3, Season 3, Week 5. Let's do this! So, Indiana Jones finally arrived in Fortnite today, and with him came a new POI based on his tomb raiding pastime. Shuffled Shrines is a hotspot for unlocking his outfit, and comes with one of the best movie easter eggs I've ever seen in a video game. By searching for all four relics and using them as a code, a secret door unlocks. It's filled with traps, and should you make it to the other side, we need to do the old switcheroo. Straight out of the movies, collecting the gold MacGuffin and leaving behind a bag of sand. The brilliance really happens immediately after that. The temple begins to crumble and you must escape. And there so happens to be a giant boulder rolling after you. Such an amazing moment, especially for old people like me. The devs definitely knew their stuff when it came to Indiana Jones and gave us a great nod to the iconic series. Hey, remember when Epic teased his coming this chapter with a refrigerator in the desert? Okay, onto the really big stuff now and the story of Bill and Ted and their new partner in crime, the Trespasser. We need to name him. Before we get to the big news, we need a little recap. It's story time. The trio were first found this season hiding out in a cave behind a seemingly indestructible wall of rock. After a few days, we all worked together to remove the wall between them and us and set the bromance free on the island. They've been wandering around the island for weeks now, and so far I've seen them in 16 different places, doing different things. A massive thank you to my Discord family for helping me get this footage. Here's everything they've done before the update today. Upon leaving the cave, the most common place to find the trio is driving around the island, full on cruising listening to the radio. They'd regularly stop and either check out the locations, enjoy a brew and something to eat, or more often than not, stop for a toilet break, as the ghost henchman has bladder issues. The next most common spot to find the bromance is down at Condo Canyon, staying at the hotel. It's possible to find them in the gym, training, keeping fit, and when they aren't doing that, they'll be enjoying a pool party. The shadow henchman grilling burgers for the boys as the trespasser learned to swim. His former leader, the Cube Queen, never really understood how to swim. It's possible to find the lads chilling out by a campfire near Synapse Station as Ghost plays a tune. Be sure to light the campfire for them if you run past. On sunny days, they'll be sunbathing on the far right of the island, once again listening to the music Ghost offers. This chap is musically talented. Occasionally, the trio will do something really worth watching. For example, they can be found on the mountaintop near Paradigm, looking out over the water. I found them in Battle Labs, but if this was a real game, they'd be looking at the strange floating orb on the island nearby. This dot has been here for chapters. At some point, it must be explained. I know some people believe that is the Cube Queen out there, but that dot is too far in the distance to really know. The Bromance, on very, very rare occasions, will appear at the Hut Watch near the zero point. Bill and Ted aren't looking at anything in particular, yet the Trespasser is looking towards the zero point, confused. That orb is the centre of all reality, so if you were a tourist, you'd definitely visit this spot. There's still seven more places to find the boys. They can be spotted taking in a movie at Rocky Reels, yet no movie actually plays. We legit sat here and waited, hoping it was going to be something like the Wreck-It Ralph crossover. Remember that? Another pastime is football, or soccer if you prefer, over in Tilted Towers. It looks like the trespasser is being taught lots of human traits and hobbies and interests, and my guy is already cracked at footy. If you land at Sleepy Sound, you can find the bromance seeing a sea shanty by the lighthouse. It's law, you must join in. And I low-key forgot how good that emote sounds with a full crew. Grab your squad, we're on the run. Let's take our job they can go. be spotted relaxing in Coney, and if you're lucky enough, they can be found flying kites on the beach in the southwest. These guys really do get around. They're seeing everything the island has to offer. I mean, the Shadow Henchman can be found putting on a concert at the Rave Cave, being supported by the rest of the gang. Check out the moves of the Trespasser. My Discord fam and I decided to fill the dance floor a little. And finally, there is one that matters more than all the rest. The trio can stumble across the IO Trooper, sitting all alone in the old scout building in the north. 
What's interesting about this is, well, it's threefold. First, the trespasser isn't bothered at all, or maybe he's a little upset to not be the center of attention for five minutes. He may be in denial with that Rubik's Cube. Secondly, the ghost henchman is excited to see another NPC and points him out. And finally, the shadow henchman is deciding what to do next. He tosses a coin to make that decision. And then we had to wait. Will they ever make contact with him? We now know exactly what they did. The IO Guard joined the Bro Band. The Bromance now has four members. All the factions that were in the game are now in this new supergroup. Ghost, Shadow, IO, and of course, the last reality. All we need now is one of the Sevens Guards to join this crew. It appears that all the locations the trio visited last week can now be visited as a foursome. Down by the barbecuing condo, the trespasser even states he's deleting Eliminate Lupus protocol and the new protect new friends behavior is engaged how beautiful is that so i do think it's time we officially name these guys this is your last chance in the comments below to throw in a name the most upvoted and reposted will become the new bezzy mates of bill and ted or ted and bill I still don't know which way round they are. And it turns out the lads can go on single dates as well, going off in twos around the island. How very modern and cosmopolitan of them. Hit me up on Twitter if you see them on their travels, please. I'm Adam Grenade over on Twitter. The next storyline. It's over to the Rock family from chapter one. This season, they've been simply chilling out on the beach for five weeks straight. Dad still lays waiting for the dog to bring him slurp barrels and mum continues to read. Hang on, wait a minute, she's read a whole stack of books since last time. Coincidentally, the book she read last week was officially one of Midas's. This gal is really getting to know Fortnite law. And from all those books she's read, she's gone back to Cypher's playbook. I'm kinda hoping she slowly cranks 90s and builds a whole new POI for us in the next few weeks. And the final member of the Rock family, Kid Rock. He continues to build a sandcastle, yet this week, what is he doing? Is that a windbreak? Maybe a flood defense? Any ideas what this kid is up to? And have you visited the Peely crash site today? It's finally happening. After months of waiting, the rebuild of Truckosaurus is imminent. He now has his torso and feet attached. I know it's not much, but in the next two updates, this could be complete. I'm hoping the paint job will be Peely themed to celebrate everything that legend has done for us. Last week we did have an update. Let's be sure to record it now. The Butter Barn sapling sprouted into another reality mess, this time bringing three locations, Coral Castle, Colossal Coliseum, and Neo Tilted, to this location. Most of them had really cool Butter Barn references, especially the Coliseum. My guy has a perfectly carved stone totem of his head. This is because the Romans loved them some man cake. True story. So that's the update this week. Did I miss anything? Please let me know. Here are some legends who used code Adamaru, then sent me a screenshot in my Twitter DMs. Thank you very much. It really helps. I'm Adam. You're awesome. I'll see you next time. <laughs>